Welcome, Radiant One, to day 11 of our 34 Days with the Angels, sharing information, teachings and medicine of the different Archangels and the Archaea on this incredible journey. Today we are meeting and merging with Archaea Constance, Divine Feminine Twin of Archangel Metatron. And maybe you've heard of Metatron before. Maybe you have worked with him, but perhaps not Constance. So the spotlight is on Constance today. She is one incredible angel. And before we dive into her teachings, friends, let's just sip and savor this moment really slow down. I invite you to put off other, other distractions if you're listening to this while cooking or doing other things. Just take time out to be fully present and here. Constance reminds us that everything is ceremony or can be a ceremony and ceremony really is the language that we use to dial into the spirit world to really perceive that which is normally unseen that which just we don't we don't recognize with all the busyness of life so with her guidance let's just take this moment to slow down to close our eyes Just take some deep breaths in, detaching from anything that you were just focusing on, any plans, anything that is just currently busy in your mind, busy in your energy, just let it all go. And with full awareness, full intention, invite in Archaea Constance to be with you to be in your space, if it feels good to step within your energy field, so that as we describe her teachings, it's not just a, a, a video transmission of the intellect, of knowing and wisdom, it's a embodiment, it's a feeling, you get to know Constance through the experience of her. So taking a big breath in, inviting her to come forward, And then opening your eyes. And the reason we're becoming a lot more intentional, especially today with Constance, is this is what she's all about, friends, is really being more deliberate, more intentional with everything that we do, not just our spiritual path, but with everything in life, so that we are fully there. All of our energy, all of our soul and spirit is with that person or on that activity, in that creation whatever it is. When Archaea Constance comes forward, even though she manifests from the diamond ray with her twin, Archangel Metatron, sometimes when she comes forward, she has this gorgeous, purpley, like purpley light to indigo, to, to silver, to gold. She really is, I like to say that she's the queen bee of her universe, the divine matriarch that helps us to honour our divinity as much as our humanity and allows us to find a blend so that we're living in divine conversation with ourselves every day. She reminds us that in order to be spiritual, we don't need to buy yoga mats, attend retreats, recite mantras, have a certain practice. No, enjoying a life that is spiritual is just that. It's coming into our innate state of being, saying yes to wakening up every aspect of your being and enjoying your innate innocence, your innate freedom, your innate expression and letting it be felt and experienced without censure or judging yourself. Spirituality doesn't have to be complex, neither does the path of ascension. Now if you have thought what the heck is spiritual ascension, this is your angel to invite in to understand she can break it down and she she's broke it down lovely very simplistically in the new book the female archangels she talks about how in general anyway humanity goes through three states while enjoying this physical experience a 3d state a sleeping beauty 
where um, that person's focus is just on the material, just on what they can see, just on what they create, very much all about just physical only experience, perhaps doesn't believe in source or God or creation, is just very logical, very analytical, just believes in what they can see. And then the fourth dimensional state is one of awakening from that slumber into spiritual discovery. That's when you have that thirst. And I'm sure we've all went through that stage. I know how I have, where you want to just soak up everything. You want to attend every retreat, every workshop. You want to sample teachings from different modalities, different religions, different philosophies, and just see what turns you on, see what you're passionate to, see what speaks to you your soul and your spirit and that really is all about discovery and that could be a whole lifetime it could be a series of lifetimes and then coming into the fifth dimensional state which is about embodiment starting to embody the path of not just one religious doctrine or one belief system or one philosophy really just finding your own truth finding your own spiritual groove your own spiritual philosophy and living to the best that you can to that creating your best life in tandem in unity in connection with your spirituality as you really embody all that you are in this lifetime and then of course there is more different states I always find that Archaea Constance helps us to move through those states and we can go from 3D, 4D, 5D in one day. We're not just, oh, I've reached the fifth dimensional frequency. I'm going to stay here. Absolutely not. Um, right now, this 2024, if you're watching this video in 2024, it's all about growth. It's all about spiritual and soul growth. And a lot of beautiful souls are moving from 4D into 5D. And they will probably enjoy a feeling a lot more constant in that state. But it can just take somebody to say something and we're triggered and we're back to we're back to 3D mentality or we feel like a couple of weeks are really in bliss and we're living our truth and we're feeling really good and then all of a sudden life just throws us something and we're back in money worries or relationship concerns and we're right back into that 3D state. And from the perspective of the angels, there's no judgment because in every reality, in every dimension of this one physical life, in all the shades in between, as long as we're learning and changing and growing, we are on our path of ascension. It doesn't really matter what soul state or spiritual state that we identify with. Constance carries what is known as the Vesica Pisces, which actually is one of the main shapes, main symbols, at the back of the cards, if you have this deck, the female archangels, it's even there too, I invite you to meditate with these cards and put the symbol card on your third eye chakra just to help you to awaken. If you feel like, oh, I'm so stuck in the 3D, I want to awaken to 4D, I want to awaken to 5D and 6D and all the Ds, all the dimensions, really after a fifth dimensional frequency, identification of realms and dimensions becomes absolutely irrelevant because you're just living your truth and there is no polarity anymore. And talking about polarity, the reason Constance specifically asked for this geometry that she's holding, this Vesica Pisces, because this symbol has featured in every known religion, every known religion. It is really the seed from, from where all sacred geometry is born. And Constance and Metatron are the angel of sacred geometry. So they help us to decode these frequencies, decode these symbols and the symbol of consciousness that we can better understand who we are, why we're here, the nature of this universe and so much more. Vesica Pisces um, is also a mathematical symbol. Um, we could see that that first if, if we were just to look at the one circle, that can be represented as source or God. When God, when source said, okay, I want to expand, I want to expand into individualized source consciousness, which is you and I and everyone in between, there became two circles. And right in the middle, this cross point is called the Vesica Pisces, known as the whim of creation. And it's where everything is birthed from. 
but it also represents, you know, if you think about mitosis, when a cell uh, replicates, when a cell grows, like a human body is created, we first of all become a vesicle Pisces, our eyes, our lips, so our word, what we're speaking, our creation, um, what we're forming in our hands, what we're creating through our hands, that's also a vesicle Pisces, our, our yoni, our womb, of course, for women. This geometry is everywhere. Why she holds it? To remind us that we have the potential. We have so much capability. It's unbelievable. From the perspective of an angel, it's absolutely infinite. From the perspective of the human mind, sometimes we can put limits upon ourselves. And I said to Constance, what would you like me to share in this transmission? Because her energy is like the night sky. And even just going outside of a night time, when it's all blanketed in stars, is a really nice way to connect with Constance and just feel even an an essence of her vastness. She's so vast, brilliant and brave. So we can go in so many different directions. We did in the book. Um, so I said to her, okay, to, let's be super specific. What would you like me to share in this transmission? And she said to remind everybody of their innate capabilities, their innate capabilities, and even to journal with the next 24 hours or beyond with Constance, to journal all the many times that you felt that you weren't able to, that you didn't have what it took for a specific task or a situation or how to navigate through some big life change, but you did. To sit down and journal all of those times so that you're reminding yourself of your innate mastery and capabilities to surmount anything. And really this exercise is all about stoking that inner fire of belief, of self-belief within yourself. Because Constance is like, I am the I am within you. Give me anything that you feel that you cannot do. Any time, whether it's a, a bully, a sibling, a parent, your friend, your your ex-partner, any time that they have said something like you won't amount to anything or all the less than thoughts and the less than behaviours that are currently still ru ruling the show, that are still ruling your and influencing your thoughts and your behaviours, give them to Constance. Give them to her. She can take them. She will gladly take them and transmute them. Anything that you feel is still in some way having power over you, give it to Constance for her to transmute so that you can rediscover your own power, your own power. And any time that you feel like you, you've been stranded on your spiritual path or your life path, you don't feel like you know the way forward, you just feel lost, abandoned, confused. She is your angel. Let her be your steward. Let her be your escort um, to support you, to see the path. And she says on her card here, bring heaven to earth because she's all about you have the skills and the capabilities to create your own version of heaven upon earth. And your version will be different to my version. Is there a right and wrong? Absolutely not. There's no bloody duality. There's no duality at all. There's only oneness. There's only your truth and my truth. And truth is really only divided by perception. That's it. Angel said that to me years ago and I've got it written on my vision board. Truth is only divided by perception. It's so true, friends. So I could spend probably hours and hours speaking about Constance, but go and investigate. Tune in with Constance, journal with her, write your capability list and read it any time that you feel that you're doubting yourself or doubting the path. Um, if you've got the copy of the book, look at this gorgeous big image of her. Oh, she's got um, bees around her head. She wanted DNA and stars. She's got Metatron's cube, of course, above her head that I'll talk about in day 12's video with Metatron. And in her chapter, 
she talks all about the journey of ascension, what we go through to maybe help you to understand why you're feeling the way that you're feeling on your spiritual path, that you're definitely not alone. Anchoring your lights, supporting your light body to activate 13 chakra system, a lovely 13 chakra activation. But let's talk about her crystal allies. I've got one of them on. In fact, I made this with her. This is one of, of when I used to make jewellery. This is Charite. Gorgeous crystal. Really got the energy of uh, dragons, which is so akin to Constance. That fiery, come on, you can do energy. Um, fluorite, which I have. This is out of a water bottle, a crystal water bottle, but I'm sure you've got fluorite in your collection and also a Zeustalite, one of the most highest vibrational angelic crystals that you can bring in and often it's quite expensive but if you if you have a good look or go to a metaphysical shop I'm sure you can pick up some Zeustalite. Plant Allies, Quince, Mugwort and Corn Flower and I'm going to leave you with Faith's, uh, not Faith's, Constance is. I can feel faith with her, that energy of trust. I'm going to leave you with Constance's daily affirmation. So let's do this together, friends. If you want to put your hands on your heart, there's so much momentum flowing through. She really is such a, an incredible angel of embodiment, and I hope you can feel that through this transmission. Okay, so closing our eyes, tuning in. Please repeat this three times with me if you would like. I trust in the bright new world that's emerging and the inherent goodness of humanity. I trust in the bright new world that's emerging and the inherent goodness of humanity. I trust in the bright new world that's emerging and the inherent goodness of humanity. And so it is. Let me know how your day flows. Attuning and writing and being and embodying yourself as Constance, which means standing firm, standing firm in your power friend. Yes, this is what it's all about. So much love. <laughs>